फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी वुड बी रिवाइजिंग और प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कार्बोहाइड्रेट बायो केमिस्ट्री द क्वेश्चन विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर वाइवा क्वेश्चन वी वुड बी रिवाइजिंग इन दिस सेशन सो आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द बेसिस ऑफ मॉलिस टेस्ट मोनोसेक्राइड्स वेन ट्रीटेड विथ कंसनट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड्स अंडर गो डिहाइड्रेशन विद द रिमूवल ऑफ थ्री मॉलिकल्स ऑफ वाटर लीडिंग टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फॉरफ्यूराइल और फॉरफ्यूराइल डेराइवेटिव द फॉरफ्यूरल देन कंडेंसिस विद द फिनॉलिक कंपाउंड एल्फा नेपथॉल टू गिव अ कलर प्रोडक्ट विच इज पर्पल इन कलर स्टेट वाइज सम ऑफ द सब्सटांसेस अदर दैन कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स गिव पॉजिटिव मॉलिस टेस्ट any compound which forms for furyl on dehydration with sulfuric acid will give this molis test so now questions from benedict's test name the members of the carbohydrate group with so reducing property all monosaccharides and some disaccharides like lactose and maltose so reducing property what other reagents are employed for showing the reducing property of sugars name at least two such reagents answer is felling reagent and collis reagent what are the constituents of benedict's reagent and explain the basis of the test benedict's reagent contains sodium citrate and hydrous sodium carbonate and copper sulfate sodium carbonates provide alkaline medium copper remains as cupric hydroxide sodium citrate act as a stabilizing agent prevents precipitation of cupric hydroxide alkali enolized sugar strong reducing agent now why sucrose does not form osajone crystals only those sugar which have a potential or free aldehyde or ketone groups that is reducing sugar will form osajone crystals sucrose being non reducing will not form osajone Why fructose and mannose form osajone crystals similar to those from glucose? The reaction involves the carbonyl group, carbonyl carbon aldehyde or ketone groups, and the next adjacent carbon. The difference between glucose, fructose, and mannose are due to difference of their molecular structure and the first and second carbon atom, which are taking part in. reaction structure around carbon atom c3 c4 and c5 are the same for the three sugars therefore their crystals are the same in what ways lactose and maltose can be distinguished from sucrose sucrose will give a positive salivanoff's test while lactose and maltose will not what products did you absorb during hydrolysis of starch on hydrolysis starch forms dextrin maltose and then glucose why polysaccharides do not form true so- solution in water because of their large size polysaccharides so very low solubility leading to the formation of a colloidal solution it will have a opalescent appearance what is the difference between starch and dextrin that the former is precipitated by half saturation and latter is not generally speaking bigger the molecule more easily it is precipitated by salts therefore starch having bigger molecule will be precipitated when its solution is half saturated dextrin because of its smaller size is not completely precipitated even on full saturation a test which will identify the presence of carbohydrate molis test name a few carbohydrates which can reduce benedict's reagent and classify them into which classes of carbohydrate they belong to all monosaccharides reduce benedict's reagent example glucose which is aldohexose glucose aldohexose mannose aldohexose fructose is ketohexose ribose is aldopentose ribulose is ketopentose lactose is disaccharide and maltose is a disaccharide do all reducing sugars reduce barford reagent if not which ones can't reduce it no barford test is a test for detection of reducing man- monosaccharides the reducing disaccharides cannot reduce barford's reagent name the sugar 
that will give a positive salive banops test and how well you distinguish between them fructose and sucrose will give a positive salive banops test that they can be distinguished by performing benedict's test where only fructose will give a positive test so that's it about carbohydrate biochemistry and the vibots important question all the best for your viva exams